way in. The Boston Harbor. Get ready to dump some tea. Give me liberty or give me death. There will be no taxation without representation. It's curious. Huzzah! Samuel Adams and other Sons of Liberty led a massive protest known as the Boston Tea Party. Being on the Eleanor during the Boston Tea Party. If you were a member of the Boston Tea Party, you were participating as Mohawks. You dressed in disguise so you would not be found out and imprisoned for treason. Samuel Adams and other Sons of Liberty led a massive protest known as the Boston Tea Party. Amidst an American boycott of British tea imports, three ships filled with East India Company tea were anchored in the Boston Harbor. Protesters led by Sam Adams prevented the cargo from coming ashore, but Royal Governor Hutchison refused to let the ships leave without paying duty. On the evening of December 16th, dozens of protesters, some dressed as Mohawk Indians, boarded the ships and dumped 45 tons of tea into the harbor. The British responded with harsh new laws to close the Boston Harbor and to limit town meetings. These became known as the Intolerable Act. The British Tea Act of 1773 set the price of British East India tea below that of smuggled Dutch tea in hopes that colonists would actually buy that junk. This had no say representation in the British Parliament. They said no taxation without representation. It's tyranny! And they're right because they could not propose new laws or they could not protect themselves in a parliament that was thousands of miles away across the Atlantic Ocean. In 1765, Britain ordered the colonies to pay a new tax. Everybody had to put a tax stamp to put their important papers in the mail or in circulation or whatever they had to do. Newspapers had to be printed on a special stamped paper. Yes, that, that cost extra money. There's even a tax, yes, on playing cards. How unfair. A tax on a newspaper could cost as much as a British soldier made in one day. Many of the colonists were outraged. Well, what you gonna do about it? You're gonna form the Sons of Liberty. That's what you're gonna do, and you're gonna protest. And you're gonna protest by means of the Boston Tea Party. Members of the Boston Tea Party, the members of the Sons of Liberty, they began calling themselves patriots, which comes from the Greek word patriotes, which is fatherland. Let's face it, many colonists loved to drink tea. Tea was the drink of choice. They were actually afraid of water. When the British, put, they placed a new tax on tea, the British, so what was the price of all the tea that was dumped into the Boston Harbor? It equates to about a little less than $100,000 today. And it may not seem like a grand amount of money uh, resulting in what King George, he uh, came up with the Intolerable Acts and he shut down the Boston Harbor. You know, it still they still destroyed property and Benjamin Franklin did not support it and George Washington did not support it either. Boston is known as the cradle of independence because of the revolutionary activities that led to the independence of the early America. Why dress up as a Mohawk Indian during the Boston Tea Party? Well, if your identity was caught, maybe you'd be in big trouble for destroying government, parliamentary, and British property. It wasn't the first time that the British colonies were taxed. No, the Sugar Act actually placed a tax on sugar, coffee, and tea, and glass, and wine, and paint, and paper. Well, it didn't work. They actually repealed it. That look good? Yeah. Greetings, hello. Ah, good fine tea. How much would this tea have to cost you in taxes for you to destroy government property just to express your displeasure? Many of you wouldn't even consider it. Not if you were a member of the Sons of Liberty and not if you were a member of the Boston Tea Party mess around with the Sons of Liberty because they hung effigies which were dummies that looked like the tax collectors from trees and sometimes burned them and tarred them and feathered them. Well, sometimes if you were a bad enough, a naughty enough tax collector, they'd tar and feather you too, baby. Tea 
imported into America comes from plantations in India owned by the British East India Company. The British government wants its company to have control over all the tea sold in America. Did you even think about stealing tea and keeping it for yourself? If you did, the Sons of Liberty would lynch you. They'd hang you. 42 tea chests were busted open and dumped into the Boston Harbor. News of the Tea Party reached England. King George and the Parliament were furious. The Intolerable Acts officially shut down the Boston Harbor. 